save our planet. Glacier loss demonstrated with photo exhibit to show the toll of global warming on glaciers. U.S. mountaineer, filmmaker, and photographer David Brashears decided to photograph various Himalayan glaciers while standing on the same spot as that of older iconic mountaineering photos. When viewed side by side, these comparisons of past and present illustrate a stark contrast in the loss of ice due to warming temperatures as well as black carbon pollution. The images, part of Mr. Brashear's Glacier Research Imaging Project, or GRIP, were recently placed on display at the Asia Society and Museum in New York, USA to raise awareness of this worrying evidence. Along with their awe-inspiring appearance, the Himalayan glaciers for millennia have fed the major water bodies of Asia, including the Ganges, Indus, Mekong, and Yellow Rivers. Two billion people depend on these rivers, and thus the glaciers, for drinking water and agriculture. One photo, for example, was taken at the same location as the 1921 image made by legendary British mountaineer George Mallory of Mount Everest's front face in the Himalayas. Whereas the older photo shows the Great Rombok Glacier as a gigantic river of frozen ancient ice, Mr. Brashear's newer pictures show instead a bare rock riverbed, a glacier in retreat up the valley, and proof that it had lost a full 97.5 vertical meters of ice mass between 1921 and 2009. Mr. Brashear's also noted that since climbing Mount Everest himself in 1981, and several more times over the decades, the temperature had become much warmer in the higher regions and ice visibly thinner. Professor Orville Shell, director of U.S.-China relations at the Asia Society, stated about the exhibit, The melting of glaciers, which you can see so graphically in these photographs, is a very concrete visual warning to us. We can see what's happening, and if we do not take heed, we will reap a bitter harvest over the next decades to come. Thank you, Mr. Brashears, Professor Shell, and Asia Society for helping to document climate change in such a compelling and accessible manner. May your efforts lead to our swift and determined actions to halt the glacier's retreat and preserve our world. Addressing this dire situation, Supreme Master Ching Hai has been urging world leaders to adopt both immediate and effective measures, as in an October 2009 address to government magistrates and judges in Mexico. Once towering glaciers are receding so fast that over 2 billion people are already short of water and food. Many more suffer shortage as tens of thousands of rivers and waters are gone or drying. At this most urgent time for the planet, I beseech your honorable graces to please help your country and our world spare lives from the impending global warming calamity. If you don't, there will be too massive a catastrophe, too immense a suffering upon people, families, the children, that our conscience might never be able to bear it. We cannot wait for the sustainable energy and green technology to be available and used by everyone. It would be too late. We must become vegan to save our planet.